Right, today on the Great Lakes Geek Show, we're with Kevin Royalty. Kevin's from Total Care Computer Consulting down in Cincinnati, right, Kevin? That's right. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. All right. Tell us a little about Total Care Computer Consulting. Uh, we're a f IT firm focused on small and medium businesses. We're located and have offices in northern Kentucky, which covers the northern Kentucky region, uh, southeastern Indiana, Cincinnati, Ohio, and we also have an office in Dayton, Ohio. Um, we are been around for over three years in, uh, under our current name and uh, have been servicing small businesses since 19, or, or 2001. Uh, I am, myself have been in the IT industry since the late 80s. And um, I was a programmer and then moved over into the network side and have been helping businesses from large all the way down to small. But I focus now on small businesses. Yeah. All right. Well, for today's topic, you certainly have the right shirt on. Because today we're going to talk a little about Windows Home Server and give a, a, some of the basics for our, our business audience. Okay. You know, you're a techie. I'm a techie. Uh, I used to have a, a netware server in my house. Mm -hmm. I had an NT4 and, you know, some of the big boxes. When you hear... Uh, home and server, it's kind of, it was almost oxymoronic. Yes, it what's, is. What's Windows Home Server? Windows Home Server's been around for over three years in its current version, and it essentially, Microsoft said, we're going to take a, a server product and we're going to make it and we're going to kind of remove all of the geeky stuff that a geek needs to know, such as you or myself, and we're going to make it so a home user can actually use it and we're going to put some limitations on it. When a large server in a business could, could run hundreds of machines. Well, in a home environment, they figure 10 is probably more than enough for most, most homes. Now, you're in my home, probably not. But uh, most of my customers have less than 10 computers. And that was a, that's actually a pretty high number. Uh, but what I have found with, with home server is it works very well. Some of the technology in home server works very well enough that I want to put that in my business customers. Now, home server was originally designed for homes. It comes with client backup, which means it backs up your PCs completely. Uh, it also has a place for photos and videos and music and software and pl central places to store things. Okay, And it also allows remote access to those files and, sh and folders as well as streaming them in your home to other devices such as the Xbox 360 if you have one connected to a TV set, some of the Roku sound bridges and some of the other devices out there. If they, if they are multimedia devices that are allowed on a network, it will probably work with home server, which is great. Now in a business environment, I'm looking at the client backup. Okay, The client backup technology is amazing in home server. Typically when you back up a PC, it's manual process, or you have to connect a physical hard disk to it, or you have a de device on the network that you have to back up to, and you need to be connected to the network to do it. Uh, and it requires manual intervention, care and feeding, check it to make sure it's not full, things like that. And the more machines you have, the bigger the disk you need. That's the normal rule of thumb. With home server, what Microsoft has done is the client backup is set it and forget it, it manages the number of backups, it self-cleans, and it has technology called data deduplication. And that's the new buzzword out there, so feel free to Google or Bing that uh, on your own. But what essentially that is doing is it takes a look at your hard drive, and it says this file on the hard drive, I already have this in my backup database, I don't need to back it up a second time, but this machine needs to have this file if that machine needs to be restored. So it keeps track of who has what and who needs what but it only backs up the unique things one time. Yeah, that's a terrific feature. Saves a huge amount of disk space. Yeah, with backup, a backup, and I'm sure you've run into this a million times, people think they have a backup, but then they go to restore, and they find that there was some glitch or it wasn't good. What's, what's the process? How do we know that the backups, or, or what's your strategy in making sure your clients don't just have it backed up, but are able to restore. Do you do a test or what? I do testing. That's part of what I do for my clients. And the backups for home server are complete backups of the PC, which means I can take, let's say you have a laptop and you're on the road like I am today, and the hard drive fails in the laptop. Obviously, I need to get back to where the home server is to do a restore, but I drive home, I replace the hard disk with a completely blank hard disk. I boot from the recovery CD, or in my case, a recovery flash drive, because I find that's a little faster. And it connects to the home server, and I tell it which computer I want to restore. And it brings the entire hard drive back. In most cases, for most of the PCs that my clients have, that's a 30 to 40 minute process. That's amazing. Now, if you have a complete disaster situation where the 
you know, the PC is flooded or something, you need a whole new PC, not just a hard drive, does it do that kind of bare metal restore? It does bare metal restore designed specifically for the exact same hardware. So if you buy the same model PC, absolutely. If you end up buying a different model PC because you can't get the same model, then what you do is you boot up that PC, install the home server client software, then you access the backup of the failed computer, and you drag the files over that you need. Now you'll have to reinstall your programs. But your user profile can be brought over, any data files that you've stored on the C drive, your favorites, your Outlook data files, all those things can be brought over. And I have done that numerous times for clients. Replacing PCs is a simple task. Um, replacing hard drives. Uh, let's say you have a laptop where the hard drive is getting full and you need more space. We simply do a quick backup. We pull the drive out. We set it off to the side. We put a new drive in. We restore to that disk from the home server and we have more disk space. And our current emergency backup besides the home server is that, that old original disk, which is still functional, that we can put in a plastic bag and store.